Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the Ambulance Conversion Project. For those of you that don't know, I'm converting an old ambulance here, a Peugeot Boxster L4H3 3 litre turbo diesel into a tiny house on wheels. Today's idea is to take cables like these bad boys out of the van because a lot of those cables are to do with systems that are no longer needed in a house. Like I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I'll need the defibrillator, I don't think I'll need the oxygen tanks, I mean they would all be quite fun for a workout but probably not needed. So I'm going to be basically stripping back a lot of these wires that I don't need so that it's not very complicated, so that saving some weight and as well so that things aren't going to cause problems down the line. But this is kind of a quite a nerve-wracking part of the van conversion for me for the van ambulance tiny home conversion because just look, look at all these wires look just look at all of that i pretty i have a clue of some of the wires because some of them were labeled but other than the labeled wires it's it's not quite guesswork a little bit a little bit more accurate than guesswork because some of the things are plugged into some of the things are plugged into things that I know what they are, like a light. But other things are completely loose and I have no idea what they used to be, so I'm hoping that they're no use to me. So, this could be a ginormous mistake. Fingers crossed it isn't, but the majority of these cables are going to be removed. Hopefully for better rather than for worse. So join me in my journey once more, Yam Squad. In attempting to do what I am nowhere near qualified to do, but it's always going to be exciting. So, let's get to it and see what we end up doing. What I've done already, the, the battery, or most of the battery things have been disconnected. So, like this ginormous cable, what does that say? Comms battery. So, that used to be connected to the communications battery from the, I'm not sure what communications, from the cab to the, the rear of the, the ambulance. Then you've got your cables for the hydraulic pump. That's for the suspension and the ramp. Obviously I want to keep my suspension working so that's gonna basically be staying where it is. You've got your diesel heater back there behind the ramp, behind the hoover there. That is a, that's connected or I've mostly disconnected it but it's connected to the diesel so I'm gonna keep that roughly in that area. But everything else is going to be cut out. Let me know in the comments below if you have any expertise in van electrics if you or car electrics if you may want to help out. But other than that, let's get to it. And that's day one of trying to remove some of the electrics here in the van and it's a process so it may look like I've moved things around and done quite a lot but really I've only taken out some cable from the back door so that operated the winch and the suspension I haven't taken them out I've just moved them over there because there were tangled up in so much so many cables over here through here and then i spent ages cutting all the tape and whatnot so right now i know what i'm trying to do it's just a quite a slow process so ending of today and i'll see you tomorrow for more wiring or dewiring goodness and we've made it to day two of trying to work out the electrics of a van with no prior qualifications to do so just a little bit of google but this morning while I was at training, my dad did some fantastic work in cleaning up the floor here behind the electrics and covering or fixing a little bit of rust. Not too much on the van, so absolutely fantastic. But now we're getting back to the electrics in the van, hopefully making some good progress today because after yesterday's 
learning experience of taking the cables and moving the cables around. I think I'm in a better position to do more today, but we'll soon find out. So let's get to love a little time lapse of some lovely cable sorting outing for you. So after the end of day two of trying to sort out the electrics in the back of this ambulance, or the ambulance if you will, taking out a lot more cable than I did yesterday, now I know slightly more about what goes where and also how to do the cabling a little bit better. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because some of the cables are spliced into the van so I don't just want to cut everything out and then try to figure out what actually was wrong. So if I take out the things I definitely know that are, say, for example, the lights here, uh, up here, I can sort of know that, okay, that's the lights and, or the winch or the defibrillator or different stereo things that I may not necessarily need, but I can sort of wire, keep the wires up there. And then all of this stuff that was just unnecessary wires, I know, that at least this stuff is not needed. It's when we get down to the less and less wires that we get closer and closer to the wires that are spliced in. So fingers crossed for later. But now it's time for some food because remember food is fuel after another wiring session and then we get back to wiring. So I'll see you for another stage of dewiring. And welcome to day 865 of removing wires from the ambulance. Only day three, but we're getting there. There's much less wires than there were yesterday. Same idea today, just methodically removing pretty much cable by cable to make sure I don't do too much damage. So let's get straight back on to it. And we've finished doing some more cabling today. It's looking better. Things are going back there, things are over there. And there was one of the cables here when I was touching the cable, seemed to be locking, unlocking the van. So this is kind of the danger of what I'm doing with not a lot of experience or expertise. I don't think it was a cable, but it could have been that cable. It might have just been what I was sitting on. Hopefully it was that rather. What's oh, doing it? Oh, it's something. Dad, it's doing it now. Okay, now to figure out what's going on with the cable. And it has stopped. Yam's coming in to see if he can... Yam, do you know any... Are you an electrician? Don't think Yam knows. But, like I said, that's the danger of what... Kind of doing, unplugging things without any expertise. I'm trying to basically avoid anything that goes into the van systems and then deal with that later. But currently taking out things that I know are being taken out or aren't connected to anything. But then obviously I've moved, touched, done something that is connected to the van. But now it's stopped. And this is kind of where the thing about, okay, am I making a mistake about doing this with all the expertise that I have? You could argue, yes, uh, but I also I like to look at it like I'm learning about the van, if that makes sense. But now back to wiring. End of day four, three. End of the day. Big progress made today. Here's a pair of cables that have been removed, apart from the small hiccup of the the. The van making noises that seem to have stopped, fingers crossed, Jam Squad. This went well today. I think another day of this, and we should be able to figure out okay, these cables we need, and we can't do anything else about them, if that makes sense. So, some of them have been spliced that far into the van system that I don't really want to touch them, and the amount of cables that I've taken out already means that I'm okay with keeping the occasional cable here and there. Right now, it is time to relax after the end of the day. Maybe even get a little bit of just chilled out bike riding in this evening, watching a sunset, 
But we'll see you tomorrow for day five, six, ten million. The next day of Cam tries to do electrics without any experience. Oh, you. And we've made it to day five ish of Cam attempts to do electrics without any qualifications. But to you, it's been mere minutes. Not many cables left to run, just a couple of cables here and there, and hopefully this will be the last day of this, mostly. So, I have cables up here, that's a Hoover, cables up there, cables up there behind the chair, that I know I'll be reusing or I want to use because some are connected to different lights and whatnot. And then, now it's just a case of sort of getting rid of a bunch of these cables, and it looks like fingers crossed that it's not been as bad as fingers crossed touch wood it could have been but we'll get a lovely time lapse going of the last bit of cabling removal and then we're on to the next stage which is if you look up here we have one two three holes in the roof one is working how it should it's a fan one is not working how it should and it's not an ideal job of being a window and this one has a broken spring on it so that's the next job to look at the roof and that's going to be a bit complicated and to clean the roof takes a lo load of silicon off fix some things clean some stuff but that's post wiring so before we get to that let's get the time lapse of the last bit of wiring oh yeah <laughs> And as you saw, a small change of plan. My dad cut the aluminium panel off so that we can get into the last bit of cabling because it was since it was covered up, the sticky stuff that was holding the cables hadn't failed yet, so we couldn't get in to pull them out. So just a couple left. We were going to keep all the aluminium paneling in, but seeing how heavy that sheet is right there that we took out made us question, should we be taking it out, should we not? But I think the advantages of keeping it in for example, I could basically screw anything to anywhere in the van into the aluminium panel and be sorted rather than having to make sure the backing is right and it's on a CS stud or on a part of the van that accepts being screwed into. But now it is time for the last bit of cabling that I am confident in removing to be removed and then we're on to the next stage. Oh, yeah. That is pretty much the electrics complete. These things, so there were four, four of these, all of these cables attached, then you had your power, then you had your air wires, and all of them I didn't know what they were attached to, so I had to figure them out. I think there's one still back there connected to some things that I think are pretty important, so I might keep that in, but I think now we are ready to move on. And so the question still stands, did I make a huge mistake with getting an ambulance and trying to do this myself? I believe no. I believe it's been a very good learning experience and I actually really enjoyed just doing this. It was really satisfying to be like, okay, where does this cable go? It goes to the back of the van. Ah, that's interesting. It's the heater, it's the suspension it's the dashboard whatever it was it was interesting and satisfying to to figure things out plus i've learned a little bit more about the van so about the, the basic about electrics of the van where the fuses are where the battery goes where all the wiring goes in the van not only for the back of the van when we're redoing this area but also for the front of the van where everything goes there so very good learning experience. Maybe wouldn't recommend it for everyone. If you have a lot of time and are really interested in the subject, yes, I definitely recommend it, but not for those that do not have a lot of time. That is for definite, but definitely not a mistake, even though initially I may have thought I may have had a mistake. Here's today's wiring haul. And as you've probably seen the thumbnail, the amount of wiring, actually I'll probably show you the, th the wiring that's come out now. So if you look at this one, now we'll go to the wiring storage area 
until we figure out what we can do with the wiring. And that's a positive as well. A lot of the wiring, well, it's actually going to save me a little money on spending money on the wiring. We have 40 mil wire, 36 mil wire, a lot of wire everywhere. And here is the wiring box. And that is all from the ambulance. The ambulance itself. And maybe I'll reuse some of this. Like I said, a lot of this wire is perfectly usable. So probably use it in the van when it gets converted. But that will be it for this week's episode of Have I Made a Huge Mistake Wiring or Trying to Unwire the Ambulance? I think not. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. And like I said earlier, the next step is roof-related antics. Again, completely qualified some would argue otherwise to do so but we're going to see what happens fingers crossed it goes well thanks for watching yam squad and as always remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and i will see you in the next episode